Good morning. My name is Salvador Perea, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to our faith community of Blessed Sacrament. Today, we celebrate the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and together with our intentions, we will also pray for the eternal repulse of Ruben and Maria Torres, for the eternal repulse of Ronald Locke and Jasper Bolton, and we will also pray for the special intentions of all parishioners of Blessed Sacrament. Our presider today is Father Ben Flores, and assisting him is Deacon Ignacio Bustillos. Our opening hymn is Like a Shepherd. We wish to acknowledge those celebrating a birthday as well right now, and those celebrating a wedding anniversary, uh, especially my wife and myself. Uh, it's our wedding anniversary. Let us please rise so that we may begin our celebration. and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Friends, it is so wonderful to be with you once again in this glorious celebration on this 12th Sunday uh, of ordinary time that we have entered already, uh, knowing that we have a good shepherd, a true shepherd, one who uh, takes care of us, one who encourages us, one who protects us and watches over us to lead us home. Today, as we open our hearts to his word, let us entrust our joys and any fears, any anxieties, uh, any hopes and dreams to our loving shepherd that he, the Father, has given us in Jesus Christ the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are our rock and redeemer. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the hope of your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our refuge in the storm. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God in the highest glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and is one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. 
O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sin. For up to the time of the law, Sin was in the world. Though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses. 
even over those who did not sin. After the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like transgression. How much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. o Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness Speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet, not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are, not worth, you are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone acknowledged me, anyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Isn't life just wonderful, my brothers and sisters? And yes, I realize I'm not in a bubble. I live the same frustration and anxiety and worries. And believe it or not, I, I too am concerned because in spite of the fact that we're all trying to do our very best under the circumstances, there's still something extraordinarily so good that God gives us. Sometimes, though, it's like those murmuring voices that we hear about from the first reading um, that seem to overpower, seem to kind of grow louder, it seems at least, than the gift of life that God has given to us. And, and when we give way to those murmuring voices uh, that, uh, that denounce life and the goodness of God, then life seems like such a drag. And it seems, well, where's the joy in it? But we're given a wake-up call this Sunday. And so, I'd like to begin giving advice to all the dads here. From one father to another. <laughs> Maybe my father is a little F and yours is a big F. But I'd like to, nevertheless, share some advice. And my first word of advice to all of you is that your words of good advice to your children, those words, you must continue to speak to them. Because in spite of the fact that maybe your words are not effective like God who speaks and then it's done, right? And you tell your children and you tell your children and you repeat yourself, Y parece que ni entra. Do not stop speaking. Do not stop communicating. Do not give up. Continue to share. Continue to communicate life. Because that's precisely what you communicate to them. All your words of good advice, all your, you know, the best that you can offer them is to sustain the very happiness that you want for them to come to know, to live and to experience fully beyond what you've experienced, that they may know it more clearly, that they would not repeat the mistakes that maybe you learned from, that they would not learn pain or hurt or hurt or pain others. So we can't give up. We cannot just say, este nunca me hace caso. Maybe in frustration, we may want to think of it. And maybe we complain to your spouse, right? To your wife. Talk to him. He doesn't listen to me. Or talk to her. My mother told me once that her father would always pray, my grandfather would pray that one of his children um, would uh, choose a priest, would become a priest. He was very religious, a man that would go to church every day and pray and, and, and taught his own children catechism at home uh, and, um, and always prayed that one of his sons would become a priest, um, but it didn't happen. Um, I didn't know my grandfather, either one, my mother's or my dad's uh, father, but his prayer was heard in his grandson knocking on heaven's door. He didn't get to see it, 
but he didn't give up. My father's advice to me was do good to everyone. Learn to be a good person. Learn to do good to everyone. And don't be afraid of death. And it was this advice that, you know, kind of strikes me later on in life is because that was the day that he passed. And he was telling me, but none of us knew he was driving home and I was sitting in the passenger side and he was giving me this advice that I just kind of, you know, because it's dad. And then later on, you think about it and you think of the words of advice and you would think, well, you know, that's not so bad. You're a priest, Father Ben. You must have learned that lesson already, not to be afraid of dying and to do good to others. Sometimes, yeah, this is no. Because sometimes I allow those other voices to get into my head and into my heart and to fear, and to give him more credence rather than to my loving Father. And sometimes I allow, because someone does me wrong, that I think about doing them wrong and what I wish them. But I've also learned, my friends, that doing good is precisely because you're not afraid of dying. That they're not two separate things, but they're actually more linked and related to one another than I think my father knew. He was simply giving me advice. I don't think he was, you know, in his effort trying to give me a theological expose but in a way, he did. When we're not afraid, when we learn to walk in the goodness of God, then the goodness comes naturally too, to do good to others, to everyone, regardless. As a prophet, Jeremiah, he is very aware that they're after him. They're trying to shut him up. They don't like to hear what he's telling them as, as a prophet of the people and the voice of God. But he recalls, right? The reading tells us. He recalls again. But God is my victor. God is my, my savior, my you know, and the reading ends, praise God, glorify God. Even though they're after me, I am not afraid. And he continues doing his work, the mission entrusted to him, to prophesy to the people, to bring them the good news, to bring life, because they're choosing everything that is against life. They're choosing other than God. And so, with great courage, he continues. But there's more than simply doing good, my friends. The gospel, today of Matthew, reminds us that in that goodness, and that not being afraid of dying, of our own mortality, of the fact that we are going to one day leave behind our loved ones, or that someone would come after us because of what we believe. That those two bring us to a life in God right now. Choosing good. 
but a conscious doing good from the heart, from the mind. That when somebody, you know, says something to you that is harsh, painful, or, or upsetting, that I choose deliberately to do the good, I am choosing in that very moment a life with God, a life in God. And that life begins for me right there, in that moment, in that instance. Choosing goodness is choosing life. Choosing to love. Choosing not to die with the person who may be attacking you or have you or has anything against you. Jeremiah chooses in that moment, even though he turns to God and asks him, please, Lord, hear my prayer. He chooses life. He chooses to continue, therefore, in the action to prophesy, to glorify God, not to condemn his brothers and sisters. Jesus puts it this way in the gospel. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. And that just blows me away. That it's more than just being good. It's recognizing that in that moment, God notices you. He notices you all the time. But because you noticed him, you chose him. You chose goodness. You chose life. You chose to bless, not to curse. You chose to love, not to condemn. You chose to sustain life instead of taking it away. You chose to give rather than to take. And so this Sunday, my friends, let us continue promoting life, choosing good, sustaining it from the heart, right? In a conscious way. Be life-giving people, like our dads. Maybe we won't get a parade. And maybe even as dads, you're going to get grief. Maybe, like all of us, we don't appreciate what we have in you. But the fact that you choose to love us and to forgive us and to sustain us and to choose to still give us that good advice is good. You don't give up on your children. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on the goodness that he calls you to every day. Be men of life. Be men for your children, for your wives, for your marriages. And always think of the many ways that the Lord calls us all so that we can recall, I remember my dad. How oh, I wish I could have taken that advice back then. But ahora que soy viejo, I never thought that those words would come back to me. And I am grateful. Happy Father's Day.
And so, my brothers and sisters, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, be God not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Heavenly Father knows our supplications before we voice them. For all who are called to lead the church, working to evangelize all who seek the truth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those called to government service, striving to lead in ways of peace and justice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who long for honorable employment and strive for a living wage, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For family members who serve as caregivers for the young, the elderly, and the infirmed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this parish community, as we do our best to reflect the face of Christ to others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray to the Lord for the eternal repose of Reuben and Maria Torres, for the eternal repose of Enrique Oquendo, Ruben Zavala II, and Pedro uh, Caicedo, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the eternal repose of Ronald Luck, Jasper Bolton, and for the intentions of Alexander Appelzoller, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. On this special weekend of all our dads and grandfathers and all those who have uh, continue to father us into life. We pray for them, both living and deceased. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray to the Lord in thanksgiving for uh, the new priests that we have been given as a church here locally, Father I Ivan Montelongo, uh, for the gift of his parents to the church uh, and for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this pandemic, we pray that it may truly uh, be one that is passing and that we may continue in good faith and love for one another, continue to practice good hygiene, distancing, and everything else that may help us to uh, surpass this. With the grace and help of our Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, you are the spirit of truth. Hear the prayers we offer with hearts buoyed by your constant love. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
as we offer our gifts, let us offer our prayer in song. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Pray, my sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, In the name of the Lord, O Son of, O Son of, in the highest, O Son of, O 
sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to the glory of your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, and his ascension into heaven, and as we await, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of Christ, body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, San Pedro, Jesus, Maldonado, and with all the saints on whose constant in intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation throughout the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy and religious, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen, to listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. 
to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you give us everything that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So, my brothers and sisters, return once again to our loving Father, confident that he indeed hears our plea. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and in your mercy grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold, this is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, then my soul.
as we're gathered around the table of the Lord, let us sing of the Lord's goodness. goodness, Father of all wisdom, come to me and bless his name. Mercy he has shown us, his love is forever, faithful to the end of day. Of the new nation, sing of your Lord's goodness, melodies of praise and thanks to God. Ring out the Lord's glory, praise him with your music, worship Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And friends, you may be wondering, who's this? <laughs> who's this masked man? Uh, I'd like to introduce to all of you Austri Delary. I don't know if you can take off your mask so that they can recognize you without the mask. Austri Delary is our seminarian intern and he's only been here two days, and so you're going to see a lot more of him for a whole year. Uh, his internship, as you all know, uh, we've had a number of intern seminarians uh, already in the past, so Astri is uh, the next uh, great gift to the church, God willing, a uh, soon-to-be priest in uh, I don't know how long, but soon enough, huh? Solo Dios sabe, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a recibirlo con un aplauso. Astri will tell you more about himself in the coming weeks, uh, but or originally from, uh, from Haiti. So if any of you want to sharpen up your French, here's your opportunity to speak French to Astri. Uh, he's very talented, a wonderful man. Please pray for Astri during his uh, internship with us, and of course, all our other seminarians as well. So thank you, Astri, for being with us. My friends, I just want to encourage you, look at your bulletin in... Um, in my parish app, there are uh, certain important announcements there about office hours. Now that we're opening up into these phases, we're in the second phase. And some of the changes and adaptations that we're making gradually, please refer to your bulletin as well as a little info there on Austri. Um, but um, uh, aside from that, I'd like to ask you also to all of you who are uh, with us here present, but also watching us. Um, to please bow your heads, a special blessing for all our dads.
Blessed Father, we thank you, Lord, for the gift of these fathers that you have blessed our families with. We pray, Lord, that you may keep them strong in knowing you, strong, Lord, always in loving you, and therefore strong for our family to give us that wonderful example of your kindness, your tenderness, your love, your strength, Lord, and your protection. Help them, Lord, in whatever troubles their hearts to always continue to trust in you and fill them with confidence to be men truly according to your heart. And we praise you, Lord, for the gift of our families, the gift that these men are in our families, that they may continue to be a sure blessing and a sign of your love for us. We pray that you may bless them all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Father's Day a todos los hombres allá valientes. Dios me los bendiga. Los quiero mucho. God bless you all and your families, your spouses. Huh? Congratulations. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you and keep you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon you. Be with you now and always. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you, ministers, so much. God bless you all. Have a beautiful week, a beautiful Sunday. A giant Father's Day, right? Why not? As we go forth, let us sing, and the Father will dance. <laughs>